West Ham's first away defeat of the season was smartly followed by a fixture against undefeated runaway league leaders Aston Villa. John Gregory's side had already amassed a colossal 20 points from just eight games. Could West Ham bounce back? Oh, Hartson. And Southgate, what was he thinking? Just uh, labouring on the ball a little too long. Lomas. He's created so many goals for West Ham when he joined the club from his uh, long throws. Ruddock's calling for it. Gets in the header! And Oaks, well, he looked comfortable, but uh, he was nowhere, has to be said. Well picked out by Lomas. I mean, Ruddock was calling for the ball almost before Lomas even picked it up. Got up well, just wide. Yet to score. Collymore. Put in there by Wright. Collymore gets a good cross in and Ferdinand right under his own crossbar. Sends the ball into the sky and behind for a corner. It's a good cross from Collymore, dangerous cross. So Ferdinand wasn't taking a chance. Now he can smile now, but uh, there's a panicky moment in the six-yard box when that came across. Ehiog's come up for this one. Southgate's up as well. Taylor's uh, made the journey. Good corner. Hartson. Southgate again. Hendry gets the chance to turn it back in. Good header in there. Thompson. And uh, Hislop earned his money then. And so did Dixon. He's taking it past Merson. Ehiog might be a... Slightly different uh, case. Dix went past Merson easily enough, but when Ehio came across, I think it was about another three stone in the frame there. Let's have another look at this uh, header from Thompson. He got up really, really well, and actually a very good save from his lot. Saw it late. Charles. Might try something. Lomas came in. Merson. Hendricks call it. Made a good run here. His up, turn it up, Mercer Musto! Oh, no! Paul Merson, and <laughs> Ferdinand punches Hislop for his pains. But a great save from Hislop, but what was Merson doing? As open a goal as you'll ever see, he just tapped it in. That's far too wide, Ehiog will have to pick that one up again. And Ruddock comes across. <laughs> Two of the biggest men in, uh, on either side. And Ruddock does well. Ehiok. He's actually a very delicate player for such a big man. Taylor. Tip past uh, Lampard. Merson. He can try it from there. Almost in slow motion. Hislop beats the ball away for a corner. Not happy with himself. I think he... Would have liked to have uh, taken that cleanly. But uh, Merson certainly got hold of it, and in the end, no harm done. So, looks like uh, Andy MP will come on. I don't think Ruddock wants to go. John Green's come on, has a few words with uh, him. Certainly crouched in that position for quite a long time. MP's uh, put his top back on again. <laughs> Seal is saying, calm it down. And... Uh, Dick's getting uh, orders from the bench. Well, what is going to happen? It's just about a quarter of an hour left. Silly to risk uh, an injury. And in the end, uh, MP has got his top off and is coming on after all that. Or is he? <laughs> yes, I think uh, Harry's made up his mind. Yeah, let, yeah let's, uh, let's make a substitution, right? So Ruddock does finally come off. I think the longest substitution in the history of the Premiership there. Must have taken about two minutes. Berkovic. Oh, Lampard, not a good return. Taylor gets it away, but uh, only as far as Dix. That masterful left foot steers one forward. Wright's in with a chance here, Ian Wright! 78 minutes, but no, a joy short-lived. Oh, dear. Great moment there, but uh, referees said there must have been a... 
I don't know if he was off, it couldn't have been offside. It might have been a suspicion of a handball. Hartson causing problems there. Was that the handball maybe with the right foot? But a brilliant finish by Wright, but no goal.